both products beat industry standards, okay? If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! As I was replying comments, Tanya Magali said, I want to see a comparison with Fenty Caviar. So in today's video, we are going to be comparing Fenty Beauty Skin Stick in the shade Caviar against the brand new Girl on the Block Milk Makeup Sizzle. But before we jump into the video, everything I'm going to be using in this video will be linked right here. So definitely go ahead and tap that view products tag. YouTube has already done the price comparison for you across several different websites. So you don't have to worry about figuring out where you're going to get the best price. Okay, so if you want to see this battle royale of dark skin contours, even though we don't have a lot of the brands in the industry giving us deep dark contour shades we're gonna pit them against each other to see which one was given that depth that deepness <laughs> that deepness okay we just we just want to see what we can see okay they're both they're both mvps in our eyes because they both did something that a lot of brands are really 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 i don't know if it's afraid or averted or whatever it is but they both did something that a lot of brands don't do when it comes to dark skin makeup and for that we applaud Fenty and Milk Makeup for doing this. But we still want to know which one is better. <clears throat> we just want to know which one is deeper. I just, I just want to know what they look like. So let's go ahead and jump in. Listen, I have done specific videos on these two products down below. I will link it so you can check it out. So Fenty Beauty Caviar retails for $32. I have used this and I love it. You can tell. I'm going to swatch it right here. It's going to be the first one. <gasps> This is deep. It is gorgeous. It is a contour shade. It is neutral. It gives all the feels that everybody else gets when they get contour sticks from the brands that don't make shades for us. It's giving that feel right now. Now I'm going to swatch the Milk Makeup Sizzle. Okay, sizzle. It's sizzling. It is sizzling. Let me know if you can see a difference down below. The thing that I'm noticing right now is that one is more radiant than the other. One definitely has a more neutral tone. I'm just going to mention the differences in the, in the two. Let me know as, I, as I'm saying it which one you think it is, okay? We are going to be putting Fenty on the right side and we will put Milk Makeup on the left side of the face. Milk Makeup, Fenty. I'm gonna blend it in with my fingers. Initially, when I first blended Milk into my skin and I said that it disappeared, somebody on my video said, she wasn't trying to be mean, I know that, um, that when you apply contour, it's supposed to blend in and disappear into your skin. And I agree because your skin's natural contours don't stand out too much to where, you know, it, does, it looks like you have something on. It is supposed to blend into your skin to just enhance those natural shadows and make it look like you're so chiseled and you did it the natural way like this is how you were born okay. i'm gonna blend the milk makeup in and yes it feels a little bit more creamy mm. milk fenty milk fenty let me know which one you which side you like best on bare skin my lazy brows today i'm just using the juvia's place brow gel just go over my micro shade and just intensify it a little bit it's given natural looking brows and i'm here for it okay so let's go into our contour fenty caviar on the right side and we're gonna put some here and here and here we're also going to do a little bit right here. We're going to go ahead and blend it in with a brush. On my makeup skin, it is so much deeper because my like actually finished complete makeup skin is a little bit lighter than my natural skin. Even if I use like darker foundations, it comes out a little bit lighter. Okay, let's go in with the Milk Makeup Sizzle. Like the Milk Makeup one literally moves a lot easier. Like it literally took me two swipes and I already done blending it and i'm also using a much fluffier brush to blend this so it is very easy to blend it in and somebody asked me what this is the it's cosmetics brush milk makeup fenty 
they're both different yet like helping achieve the same kind of goal i could definitely use the milk makeup to blend the edges of fenty out because fenty is a neutral type of a contour right but i also feel like the milk makeup is more on the warmer side oh my it just it melts into the skin it's so easy to blend and it just this is also more on the purple side that's why i was saying that i feel like the milk makeup is given bronzer vibes compared to contour vibes like that's what i get from it and it's purely based on the way that it looks but of course you can use it as contour if you're like a shade or two lighter than me it would definitely be a contour shade for you but it might just have like a slightly purplish hue it's not bad okay i don't want you to think that that i'm saying it's bad it's just that it has a different hue compared to the fancy one the i just need some blush and that will like curve everybody and you know make everybody look okay so we're here with the final look for our fenty versus milk makeup contour stick battle royale so i've actually got a chance to go out and i actually also use my phone to film in like natural light and both sides looked really good and so i didn't put a lot of the milk makeup cream I'd on as i did the first time so although it's glowy it's not really really glowy and i didn't go in to set it with any other powders because we're doing a comparison okay the Fenty side is looking very matte. Okay, this is my this is my good side. I really like showing this side of my face because I, don't know, I feel like it looks good. I don't like the side of my face. <laughs> so I don't like showing it, okay? But for you, like I said, for you, I will show my insecurities, okay? But this side of my face looks a little bit more glowy, as you can see. It's glowy. Like, the thing is glowy. I'm just going to have to keep up with, you know, blotting my face as the day goes by. And I'm going to be using, like, a translucent powder to blot over it that will keep it matte but you know i have to keep blotting it over over time the difference between the two contour sticks is that one is glowier than the other one one is cooler and darker than the other one and for me i feel like one of the products was actually meant to be kind of like a crossover between a bronzer and a contour for me right now it's showing up bronzery Fenty showing up more like a contour, but they both add shadow to my face. They both give dimension to my face and they both give me that nice looking cheek bone jaw bone area and i am here for it okay both are really good products both products beat industry standards okay either one that you pick is a win if you use me as your shade reference and you pick up either one of these it's just gonna depend on whether you want a matte product or you want a more glowy product if you're if you're lighter than me definitely gonna be a contour shade for you i'm going to link both individual videos right here for you to check out let me know down below in the comments what you think about the product let me know if you agree with me let me know if you don't agree with me let's discuss down below in the comments thank you so much for watching love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye